this video will discuss using dependence education assistance at UNCW. We'll go over an introduction to dependence education assistance, or DEA, an overview of, of applying for DEA, an overview of transferring DEA benefits from another school or program, information about the enrollment certification process, and contact information. The Survivors and Dependents Educational Assistance, DEA, commonly referred to as Chapter 35, offers a monthly payment to assist with educational expenses to qualifying dependents. Dependents of veterans who are permanently and totally disabled because of a service-related condition, or dependents of veterans who died while on active duty or as a result of a service-related condition. Additional qualifying conditions and limitations on the use of the benefit may apply. You may review eligibility and usage information on va.gov to learn more about how the benefit works for spouses or dependents. Students who are eligible for Chapter 35 may also be eligible for the Fry Scholarship. You may only use one of these programs. You may review eligibility for the Fry Scholarship and compare the Fry Scholarship to Chapter 35 on va.gov. The Chapter 35 benefit is a monthly payment for up to 36 months of training. The benefit is paid directly to the student. You may find the current payment amount for full-time training on va.gov. If you are not sure if you are eligible for this benefit, or if you are not sure which benefit would be a better choice for you, contact the VA. We recommend using the email form at va.gov. They typically have about a 24-hour response time. Please note that the Office of Military Affairs does not represent the VA, nor are we able to assess eligibility for VA benefits. In order to transfer or apply for Chapter 35 benefits, you would start at va.gov education. You want to scroll down to the middle of the How to Apply page to find the green Find Your Education Benefits form button. That button will turn blue when you click on it, and it will allow you to choose your application. You would choose applying for a new benefit if you have never used Chapter 35 before at UNCW or at another school. And you would choose updating my program of study or place of training if you have used Chapter 35 before at another school and you are transferring to UNCW, or you are beginning a graduate program at UNCW, even if you used the same chapter of benefits at UNCW as an undergraduate. So to review, you may apply or transfer VA benefits online at eBenefits. To get there, you're going to click on the green button that says Find Your Education Benefits form, then select and submit the appropriate application, either applying for a new benefit or updating your program of study or your place of training. Your Chapter 35 payments depend on the enrollment certification process at UNCW, which is handled by the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid. The VA Military Financial Aid Counselors, or VA School Certifying Officials, will certify your enrollment. We have Alton Johnson, who works with students with last names beginning A through J, and Chad Voorhees, who works with students with last names beginning K through Z. The VA Military Financial Aid Counselors, or VA School Certifying Officials, may be reached in a variety of ways. You may email them at veterans at uncw.edu. You may pop into a Zoom room with them or you may give them a call at 910-962-3177. After your application for Chapter 35 is approved by the VA, you will receive a Certificate of Eligibility letter from the VA. Students must submit the Certificate of Eligibility to the Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid. This will be used to certify your enrollment in future terms. New students must also submit the new Military Student VA Benefits form to request enrollment certification once you've registered for classes. You may find that form on uncw.edu slash military slash VA dash benefits. Enrollment certification for students who are using VA benefits for the first time at UNCW typically takes place after the end of the add drop registration period of your first term. Students have up to the end of the registration period each term to make changes to their course schedules. In the fall and spring semesters, the registration period extends through the first week of classes. In the summer sessions, the registration period extends through the first day of classes. If you make changes to your class schedule after you've registered for classes, you must email veterans at uncw.edu to inform the VA military financial aid counselors of the change in your enrollment. The first time you use VA benefits at UNCW, you may anticipate a delay of several weeks due to processing time through the VA. 
The first payment will include back pay to the start of the semester. You will receive a notification from the VA once your enrollment has been certified for that term. After you have received the notification from the VA, you may contact the VA regarding your payment date. In subsequent terms, after class registration has opened for the next term, you will receive an email from veterans at uncw.edu regarding the upcoming enrollment certification. You will be asked to respond to that email only if you do not want to use your benefits for the upcoming term. You are changing your chapter of benefits, which requires a new certificate of eligibility from the VA for that chapter, or you no longer qualify for benefits. If you do not respond to the email, your class enrollment will be certified according to the certificate of eligibility on file for you. All questions about VA benefits at UNCW are handled by the VA Military Financial Aid Counselors. You may find your counselor at uncw.edu slash finaid slash counselors. You may email the VA Military Financial Aid Counselors at veterans at uncw.edu. You may drop into a Zoom room or you may call 910-962-3177. Additional resources include Veteran Affairs at va.gov, the UNCW Office of Scholarships and Financial Aid Military page, and the UNCW Office of Military Affairs VA Benefits page. This video has discussed using Dependents Education Assistance, or DEA, at UNCW. Thank you for listening, and please reach out if you have any questions.